Hello gamers, Merry Christmas and Happy New Years because in this video we got amazing new tricks on the newly added map lair, including everything from unexpected angles which make the opponents rage, we got new spawn pick strategies to use in your next rank game, and we got much more awesome tricks that works 1 million times landing you tons of kills. So sit back, relax and enjoy some quality content in the next few minutes. Also, if this video helped you, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Let's begin this video with the first trick. Starting off this video, did you know you can get an insane angle if the opponent opens the breach in the mask room? To do this, go down below and break the floor close to the wall as I show you in the video. Clear out any floor from the top layer to get more visibility on the enemies. Next time someone opens the breach and goes in, they will regret it instantly. Following up, we got another angle for you guys. If you impact the floor and toxin while standing on top of the table, you can create an angle that leads next to the reception entrance, which is a high traffic area. Coming up next, we got a one-way angle to use next time you're playing weapon maintenance. If you get yourself on top of this box and then try to look as much to the south while having the wall prop option available, vault over the lid and if done correctly, you'll be on top of the table. Since the lid is tilted towards you, it makes this a one-way angle from the green box to the reception doorway. What will this video be without a Valcam spot? Well, I got you. Go to this wall and bind corridor and shoot out the top right part. Then place your Val camera on the right hand side of the edge, just like in the video. This camera is so insane, it can see a lot of in the bunk corridor. And that's not even the best part. It also acts like an outside camera and even spot people are breaching and much, much more. In my opinion, this is the best Val camera spot on this map right now. Next up, we got a double mirror strat in briefing, which is one of the sides of this map. Reinforce this wall and then prone on the metal chair to gain extra height. Look as far up as possible and deploy the mirror shield. Then get off the chair. Destroy the top layer of the floor if you want to, but I recommend it because it will be much more easier to find the next prompt to deploy the shield. After that, destroy the top mirror shield. From here, you can either stand on the metal chair to see more of the enemy, or you can stand next to it to be more hidden and see the enemy's heads only. This is a fun hiding spot you can do next time you're playing bunk beds. Walt over this half wall until you get on top of the screen box, then try to hug the white part of this bed to get inside the bunk bed. From here, you can get some nice angles or even hide in here just like in the video. Coming up next, we got spawn pick strategies. If you go to this door in the main entrance and look south towards one of the spawns, you can look through this gap. From here, you can use this gap as an indication when to rush out on the enemies. Or, if you got pro league reaction time, you can try to hit some shots between here. Don't worry if you stay there too long, because the west spawn is very far away. Unless if you stand there for half the round. We got another spawn rush you can do in warehouse. Make a large hole on the south wall and rush out towards scuba spawn. If you're good at pre firing the enemies, you should be able to land some kills all the time. This works so well because you get detected after you kill them, since the wall is super close to them. Next time the enemies picks basement as their site, make sure to go buck, because you can get a nice angle onto site. Break the floor in reception and the top part of this wall. Because people are crossing that site very often, you'll be able to land some cheeky kills. Lastly, here's a counter if someone is peeking the operational door. Go to this metal wall with tires and find the wall prompt. Make sure to be crouched while vaulting, otherwise your head can stick out on top of the wall. Get yourself on the tire to elevate yourself up and kill the spawn peeker. Oh, the video's not ended yet, but thank you guys so much for watching this video and all the videos I made this past year. 2023 has been my most successful year so far on YouTube, and I really appreciate the support you guys have given me. You guys have liked, subscribed, 
commented and disliked my videos and has made my YouTube journey possible so far. I also want to thank Coconut Bro for everything he's done to me. He's the main reason why I started with YouTube and the reason why I'm still making those videos till this day. Thank you, fuck, thank you so much bro for everything. So what's the future of this channel now? I don't know, but for certain, I will still make the same content as I do today, so stay tuned. Once again guys, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.